All right. I'm going to give like a micro lecture, micro lecture um, on this parts, yeah? Some of it already on, on the website. So here I'm just going to focus on a few things, which is very important. I think it's essential, eh? Firstly, this lady, very important. Yeah? If you don't know her, saja lah, yeah? Very important because apart from being an actress, a celebrity, she is also known for being overdose, yeah? On barbiturates, yeah? I think you also have seen this particular graph, yeah? And with barbiturates, compared to benzodiazepines, yeah? Uh, if you see here, if you take barbiturates in a, in the, like, in a right dose, it's fine because it works for those people who have, who are suffering from uh, anxiety. Eh? This is anxiolytics, yeah? This is what, just want to calm down the nerve, yeah? So that's, that's the first thing you need to know, yeah? But if they go overboard, yeah? What happens is that they'll go to sleep, unconscious, coma, and they tend to be in the anesthesia condition. If they go gone overboard, over overboard, then you know they, they will actually cause death. So this is what happened to Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, she took an overdose, stayed too much. I think she has taken earlier, probably a bit more an overdose, probably in this in these stages. But I think it's too much. Then they went into coma and so on and, and death. Yeah, and then what happened is that. So this, sorry, so this drugs for, uh, it was discovered around 1960s and so on, but this drug was not safe. Because there's no, if you see the whole graph, there's no taping off. Yeah, it's just going on like that. Okay, so later when benzodiazepine come into the picture, uh, this is becoming a very, very good drug. Yeah, sought after because even though if they, they can they can take well, it's advisable to take a good the correct dose, but if they go overboard, it will just simply take off at coma. And hopefully be that, by then there's a window of time whereby they can actually you know be um, uh, in a sense removed or the doctor can actually save them, rescue them by removing the drugs, flushing out the body from the uh, from the drugs uh, drugs from the body. Eh? So that's the whole thing, yeah. Now in chemistry at the moment. I'm focusing on just barbiturates and benzodiazepine. Okay, that's the focus. Yeah. I think you have seen the rest. Do you see the rest in the pharmacology? Yes. Eh? So I, I wouldn't be cover the, the chemistry. We may cover here. Yeah. If, but if you want to, but if you want to read further, of course. Yeah. All right. First thing. Barbiturates is a combination of urea and an acid. Malonic acid. Yeah? It was actually discovered by uh, von, May von Bayer, the same guy who discovered aspirin. Yeah? And if you see from here, they actually use, he actually used um, really, can you see that here? Can someone uh, switch off the, the lights there, can you? Or uh, Billy, boleh tak? Tolong? Silap orang ke? Betul kan? Billy kan? Billy the kid. So, beli lau, huh? Bisiang. What else? <laughs> you have a, a lot of names, eh? Thank you. So, so barbiturates, so that's the main thing, eh? Uh, you need to know, all right? So, if you see here, the chemistry is based on urea chemistry, and so acid. It's actually an, a, a sort of like um, esterification, more or less, yeah? Okay, um, so you, this structure is hyaluronic prone structure. Okay, when you have when you have this um, moiety, carbonyl, amino group, carbonyl, then you have another amino group and so on. This is uh, acid or alkaline uh, prone hyaluronic. That's that's what you need to know. I think you also see you also see in antipeptides as well. Yeah, very similar. Same. I think very similar chemistry. All right. So now is to determine whether they are they can where they hydrolyze. 
either at the one two or one six position. All right. Um, so this is the hydrolysis. All right. Here, if you go want to go into one two, uh, sorry, one six, sorry, one six cleavage. Yeah. So usually it's in alkaline condition, neutral alkaline condition, and one two cleavage happens in water. Yeah, it's, it's quite it's quite unstable. From that, you can tell that this one two is more neat, more uh, favored. This is just in water. It's really easy mild condition yeah, compared to uh, one six. Uh, pathway. Yeah? It will release uh, carbon dioxide and will give you urea and an acid depending on the R. Yeah? So that's usually, you go back to the, to the precursors. Okay? Um, just go through tautomeric forms if you want to. There's a lot. There's more than three. Here I show you only three forms. There is more than three uh, forms of abiturates. Yeah? Uh, remember that the PKA is close to PKA of acetic acid. So in other words, it's a weak acid. 